All right, what's up, guys? G Hank is here, your builder all training support specialist in network marketing slash MLM. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Happy Monday, and we're back to our regular training. But I do hope that you guys did enjoy the Thanksgiving challenge that we did last week, and hopefully, you guys implemented some of those things that we taught, and you are doing some amazing things in builder all. So guys, in today's video, what we're going to talk about, or actually what I'm going to show you, is the builder all. Ready? Ready? And social proof. I know <laughs> um almost what's his name? Bobby's. I know you've been asking for this. Uh well, unfortunately I couldn't do it for you before because I didn't have time to play with it, but I did get some time to finally mess around with this. Uh, and before it wasn't working, but now it is working. It is working 100%. I've tested it out, and they even added some other cool features that wasn't there. So I actually tested that feature out, and I'll show you guys that feature here. So social uh, social proof. What is that for? Um, what can you use it for? Well, I'm going to show you. So what that is is uh, let's actually go to the website where you guys will see the social proof. So you can see what I'm talking about. So social proof should pop up over here. So what this does, it's great for either a product. As you can see, Leticia, new member from Whitestone USA, four minutes ago. Uh, keep looking over here. You should get a couple of more. Uh, Jean, new member, new team member, four minutes ago. Now let's see, there should be another one. Let's see, five seconds, there you go. And Jackie, oh my God, Jackie joined my team, woo! Welcome to the team, Jackie. <laughs> no, I just did that, that's, that's me, I did that. So, what that is good for, guys, it is good just to help people basically see that, hey, uh, there are people joining, there are people buying, if you're doing a store, right? So if you're doing an e-commerce store, sometimes this is great for uh, for you to show on your website, so that people see that, hey, uh, people are actually purchasing this. This is real. Uh, and most consumers don't know that this could be fake or this could not be fake, okay? It's all up to, I guess, how smart the consumer is or the person that's watching your website. Um, and yeah, so what you guys can do, I'll show you how to do this and add it to your website. With a few simple clicks, no coding. I know the previous social proof that we had, you had to add the code to it, but now, man, they just made it super, super, super duper, duper simple. So easy. So let's actually get to it. Let me show you guys how to do that. And here, there is actually a cool little thing. Uh, it says Gene MLM, but supposed to just say Gene. Actually, no, yeah, no. I'm in my uh, training account. So the training account is uh, Gene MLM, so that's good. But this right here actually populated from my back office, as you can see. If I refresh, oh, it took out the other part. I must have put it on the inside. Something went wrong, but it's supposed to just replace my name and then leave the other stuff there. So I'll fix that here. So let's do this. So first things first, guys, you need to create an actual social proof. So let's go here to the social proof and I already have it here. I already have one selected, but let's just click on go to new social proof. It's going to take you over here. Um, make sure you have it added to your back office. Right? You have it over here. So to add it, just click over here on the install more and then you should put it anywhere here as you want. But like I said, you want to add it here. Let's just do this real quick. Social. There you go. Social proof. Just so you could have it there. But we're already in here. So I'm going to create a new one so you guys can see how it's done. And let's call it testing. All right, this is the name that you want to call it. This is the name that you see, right? So this is testing. Now, action label. 
this is what it's going to display when it pops up. So for me, I, I called it new team member. Team member joined. Let's, let's call it that. Now, where is it going to collect the information? Is it going to collect it from e-learning, a webinar form, Cheetah members area, or Cheetah contact form, or mailing boss form? Uh, the form that I have on my page is a mailing boss form. Okay, so it's simple to do it that way. I have not tried it with a contact form or the webinar form or e-learning. So let's just keep this nice and simple. I'll test it out with these other ones later on. But the simplest one to use and do is the mailing boss form. Now this, navigate to URL on pop-up click. So usually people they are very curious so if they see something pop up they might just click it without even paying attention to what it says so there's the opportunity to still get them to go somewhere so if they click on that pop-up that says new team new team member it's going to then send them either to depending on where you want whether it be a video or maybe to another sales page or maybe you'll refresh the page so you will send them exactly to the same page that they're at. It's all up to you. Uh, but for me, I would put the a link that will show them maybe a video of your opportunity, right? Because most of us here are in an MLM. So if I were you, I would put a link to a YouTube video or a link to a page in your website where they're able to see your opportunity video. Translations, if there's going to be some translations, uh, I'll leave that blank. Pop up right now, I have a default, or you can have the dark. This is the only ones that they have. So I recommend just leave it a default icon. Now, if you notice, where is it? Let me open it up. So you guys are going to see there's like a little picture, which is a little tiny. Uh, image that I have on the button right here, the little play button. That is what goes over here. So make sure you have the right proper size, which is 128 by 128 pixels. Show user location. I said yes. I want people to know that, you know, maybe my opportunity is international or maybe it's just in the US. And do you want it to display on mobile? Yes or no. And then here, position on the screen. Uh, usually the standard. And all, not all, but most social proof apps out there, they display on the left side. And not just on the left, it's actually on the bottom left. Or you could do bottom right, top left, or top right. All up to you. And then if you know some CSS and how that works, I have no idea. So if you have no idea like I do, uh, like I don't have any idea also, uh, just leave it blank. Don't touch that. Now pop up time. Now, because of training purposes, I set it to five seconds, okay? I don't know if it's five seconds. I'm pretty sure it's five seconds. But you want to do maybe 25 to 30 seconds, right? You don't, want to, you don't want it to always be popping up like every three, five seconds. Somebody, somebody, somebody. That can look a little spammy and probably fake. So people are going to be like, that's crazy. And then the social proof aspect of it, it gonna really go away people are not gonna pay attention to it so yeah and then i would click create but i already have one so i'm just going to click edit on this one so you guys can see new team member mailing boss form uh, if they click i'm sending them to my youtube channel but this is just for training purposes obviously i would definitely send them to my business opportunity video or something like that uh here's the little icon button and five seconds and i did tell you guys that there's another cool feature that they also added ghost records so let's say maybe you don't want to collect data from people you want to actually put the data big data remember the consumer or the 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 other end user right the person that's watching this they might not be very tech savvy they don't know about how social proof works um on on websites and things like that so you can actually activate this and put users 
So I have here Barry Allen. Uh, I can do Tom. And then country. He is from Korea. City. Seoul. I think this is Seoul. So I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, how many minutes ago? Five minutes. Two minutes. Actually, it's due two hours ago. And I would add record. Now, the, the thing is that I noticed, I'm not sure if maybe uh, it's going to work differently later on, but I noticed that if I click on ghost user, it's only going to display the ghost users. It's not actually going to display the people that have been coming in through uh, the opt-in page. Okay. So if you want to display like real people that are coming in through your opt-in page, right, where you're collecting their information, do not select go ghost users, but if you don't mind and you actually have a whole bunch of people, fake names and stuff and countries that you want to add, you could do that. I I rather not do that. That's too much work for me. I want it to be real and, you know, organic people that are coming in. I would probably not use that unless you are doing some type of store for stores i see why you want to do that but for like our opportunity uh network marketing and mlm i rather just actually let it get the information from actual real people all right so we got that now normally oh let me actually before i tell you so here where it says show records it shows you all the people that have opted in as you can see there's the names the time, where, Whitestone, location, coordinates. So this is the information that it's going to display. The name, it's going to display the name, the time, uh, and the place, America, New York. As you guys saw when it displayed over here. Let's see if it pops up when I'm here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, show up. Okay, maybe not. It's not going to show up. Oh, yeah, it did. You can see from US Whitestone, new team member, 15 minutes ago. Cool. All right. So we got that done. Now we need to do a couple of things. We need to now select right here on the social proof. Where is it going to display? So right here we have join the team. This is after someone opts in. They're going to go to my join team page, okay? So I wanted to go here, not my opt-in page. Right here, this is the opt-in page. Ignore the name. I forgot to change it since I just created these pages for training purposes. So ignore that, okay? So I have it here to join the team. Now, we need the information that it's going to collect. So let's go right here to my opt-in page. All right, so this is the page that's collecting the information. So obviously you always wanna make sure you connect it to a list. So we have here a list and where it's gonna go. It's gonna go pending subscriber. We're gonna send it to join the team. Subscriber confirm is gonna go to join the team and so on and so forth. You guys understand, remember this, unsubscribe, takes them back to the home page. That's how I like to do it. And now, right here, let's zoom in. Right here, it says social proof. So when you click on that, it's going to ask you, okay, this is the campaign that you have. We only have one right here. So we selected fields to be used as username, meaning what it's going to display. You want it to display the email or the first name. Right, that's what I have in this email list, first name and email. If I had other stuff like phone numbers, state or something like that, or male, female, it will display here and I can choose just that. But we obviously choose one first name and then I would save. And of course, save right here because save is your best buddy. It is your pal. And then that is it. So now if I were to, let's actually go through this again. Let's go to the website. Let's opt in as Bob, Bob the Builder. 
at gmail.com. Somebody's gonna <laughs> is gonna get an email because I'm pretty sure that's it. An actual person's email. Uh Bob. My button. Not even change this. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. So here we go. Oh, I forgot to fix this. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's not part of the training. Part of the training is this right here, guys. Bob. 12 seconds ago. There you go. You saw how simple that was? I didn't have to do no coding. I didn't have to add any code to the page. I know before you used to have to do that, but not anymore. Builder all makes it so, so simple for us to do things. And yeah, guys, that is it. That is how you guys actually do social proof in a matter of couple of clicks. I was going to say in a matter of seconds, but it's not seconds. It just takes a couple of minutes just to set up. But yeah, that's it. All right, guys, that is it for tonight, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And once again, just to remind you, my name is Gene Hackis, your builder role, training support specialist in network marketing, slash MLM. Have a good night. Take care. Peace.